Hey there folks, welcome back to the Green Vlog. It is the 15th of June 2013. Um, I've got quite a bit to talk about. The main thing I guess is to do with the new computer once again. <laughs> and that is that my webcam that I was going to use for it is sort of, I don't think it's compatible. Because I use the PS3 iToy, you know, multifunctional <laughs> and everything. But even with the drivers that I downloaded for the laptop for that, it's the different operating systems, and it doesn't seem to be one uh, any drivers that are dedicated to Windows 8 at the moment for it. So, not that I can see anyway. So I've had to make this video on the laptop again with the laptop webcam. It's a good job I still got the laptop basically. So I'm gonna have to find a more dedicated webcam for the PC now. It's a little bit annoying, but. What you gonna do? But a major improvement, which has made today a pretty much a bittersweet day, is I fixed the internet connections on the new computer. So that's extremely good. I got the internet at four bars now. Sometimes it goes down to three bars. Sometimes it goes down to four. And you know how wireless is. It's quite random. And the problem was, this is extremely embarrassing after the long rant they had yesterday and the fact that they switched computers and everything. There was an antenna that was supposed to come in the box, but it didn't come in the first computer box, I didn't have it in that one, but it came in the second one. So, that must confuse me shitless. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I'm confused about being confused, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's sorted. Got the internet on it. All I need, all I've done today is basically downloaded all the old stuff, including the Skype, because the Windows 8 Skype that comes with it, I can't stand it. I didn't think I'd say that about any program, but it's awful. A lot of people like it. A lot of a lot of people are just going on about how brilliant it is and how it's one of the best things about Windows 8 somehow. But I really can't stand how it sort of runs in the background so much and isn't just one little program, one little box. It's not it's not just restricted to one little box, it's like a full screen application now, you know? On Windows 8. So I switched back to the desktop version that they're making and it's working fine and everything, so hey ho. <laughs> also I've been approached by a networking company on YouTube called Viso. Viso, whatever, and what they do, any of you heard of TGS on YouTube? It's a network of loads of YouTube people who are under one name and it helps people to get more views, more subscribers, more, um, just more well-known in general. And I know it sounds like one of those scam emails that you get from them, but I know for a fact that I can trust these guys because I've sent them emails and had proper conversations and just figured it out a bit, I think. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I don't have to stick with them if I don't want to, so if it doesn't go well to start with, I think I'll drop it pretty quick. Not because I'd have to put more effort in, nothing like that, just um, it might not be as trustworthy as it seems if it doesn't pick up pretty quickly and people don't notice. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What else? Um, oh yeah. Somebody PM'd me on YouTube as well and they asked me what makes a good horror thriller film. Because we've had I've been having a conversation with this person. Her name is Bright Lights 456X and I think it's a good question. What makes a good horror slash thriller film? I'll just answer it as if you're asking what a good horror film is. What makes a good horror film? Because thriller film films I find tend to merge into horror films and um, you might make the question a bit awkward for me, a bit complicated, so I'm going to stick to horror films. And I think so long as it's unique, there's so, as long as it has a uh, a unique concept. There's so many horror films out there now that are just this one guy chasing down a couple of teenagers and killing them off, you know? 
<laughs> so Unsus has a unique concept, unique characters, and not sort of too too generic characters. You know, like the blonde bimbo who always falls over and gets stabbed in every mo horror movie. The weak victim type victim <laughs> who hides behind all these stronger characters and stuff and survives till the end and maybe lives altogether. I'd rather not see those sorts of characters because they're overdone. Now, I know there's so many horror films out there so it's hard to make things unique in a sense, but... So long as they try and it becomes at least half unique, at least not done in every horror film, you know? Then I'd be happy. As well as our unique music, not just the sort of heart-thumping music that you've seen so many horror films or the low drone sound. Um, I know that's supposed to add atmosphere, but it's just boring. <laughs> it doesn't hold attention, it doesn't add atmosphere, like I said. It, it doesn't do that for me anymore because I've seen so many of them. So I'd like to see something a bit more creative done with the background music. What else? I can't think of much else, really. I mean, the types that I like, they were Silent Hill. That I can't say was done in every horror film. Apparently it was taken from... The idea of Silent Hill was taken heavily from a film called Jacob's Ladder or something like that. And I've never seen that, so I don't know. But of the current gen of horror films, I don't think Silent Hill's premise has been done before. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> So yeah, I hope that answered your, her, question. <laughs> I think I'll move on, because I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, I've been playing that a lot today. There's been a bug catching contest, and that's been brilliant. I've been in my little tent. <laughs> I paid off the money for the tent, so I can have a house starting tomorrow morning. And have a proper house, and then I can start building things for the house. I don't know, it's a new concept for Animal Crossing, so I don't know how it's going to work, but it should be interesting. It should be good to see, to be able to add like little fences around your house. And I wonder if you can still expand your house as well as doing this, make it bigger. I hope so. Otherwise it's going to be pretty small, unless the first house you get is the last one and it's massive. I don't know. I don't know. What else have I done in it today? Uh, quite a few fossils, quite a lot of insects being taken to the museum. Been chicken trees getting furniture out of those leaves. <laughs> That's strange. It is a strange game. And I think a new animal's moved in. He's like this. B. He's the first male. Before it was like my little rich. <laughs> um, he'd moved into Animal Crossing as the mayor, and he was the only male in the village, sort of, of all the people in houses at least, and. All the others were women, so, you know, he's quite a lucky little bitch, <laughs> to say the least. But now, today, this male moved in, and he's a bear, and, you know, he's massive. He's just going to scare me off. He'll fight me off for all the women, so... <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. The tree is growing. You, you plant a tree at the very beginning of Animal Crossing New Leaf, and you, you plant a seed, a tree seed. And it's growing, starting to grow. So that's good as well, I've got to check out all the shops and stuff. I still haven't checked out the clothes shop because I really wasn't that interested because I got some free clothes up on the villagers and stuff anyway, so there we go. That's all. That's pretty much all. I might go on it now because it's quite late and it should be about time for KK Slider to start his song and the credits and stuff, if it's anything like the other Animal Crossings. I think you find him in the street of shops that are new to Animal Crossing New Leaf as well, so I'll give that a go in a sec. I've been trying Game Dev Tycoon, the full version this time, and I went through and got bankrupt once, but I got into the sort of office, the first office, from the garage to the office, and I made a few games, uh, quite a bit of money, but then I went bankrupt pretty easily because I made a shit game by spending loads of money. Didn't work out. Just didn't work out. <laughs> so I'm going to start again and I think start making separate save files and stuff and see how far I can get like that. That'd be fun. I've also started downloading Team Fortress 2 from Steam on there. That is a free multiplayer shooter game. Think Call of Duty and you're pretty much there. I mean it's more cartoony and 
there's more of an emphasis on team. Even though on Call of Duty you get team deathmatch, nobody ever seems to work as a team on there regardless. But on Team Fortress 2, what I've seen, they actually do try and work as a team and get it all working properly, you know. Make you win a bit easier. I don't know if I'm going to be any good, because what I've seen is actually from somebody else playing. I haven't tried it yet, because I've had to be downloading all this crap for for the new computer, like antivirus and crap like that. So I've had to, I've had to pause the actual download of Team Fortress 2 a lot, so I didn't download it yet. It's going to take a while. As well as that, I want to get Left 4 Dead. I've been told that it'll work on my new computer, which is very good, because it's one of my favourite games for the 360, which I was so gutted about when I sold the 360. I couldn't play it anymore. I hope you can hear my voice, i got to talk a bit quiet because everyone's in bed, it is really late. But, yeah, Left 4 Dead, I'm going to get that. I know a couple of my mates have got it, so we can play online and everything like that. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to save this now and I'm going to try rendering it on the new computer. And hopefully the next vlog will be from the new computer with a new webcam with be better picture quality and less slow down <laughs> hopefully it'll be good so this has been Green XI I hope you've enjoyed I'll see you again in the next green vlog see you in a bit <laughs>